Hi, it's G from Native Speakers Academy. A student asked me yesterday if I thought that something like mind control exists. The ability to manipulate and alter the perceptions, the thinking of others. I think mind control is a normal state. We struggle to control our own minds. <laughs> Yet, we wish to study the minds of others. Isn't that a great contradiction that we use the mind to study the mind? It's all programming pro, or it could be more positive than a pro, gram, gram, the weight of something, the weight of your thoughts, the weight of gold. The TV program, the radio program, the programming on the computer, the TV guide to guide you to the program. Po -pro the program <laughs> is the software that gets downloaded into you. It is an attempt to hardwire the person for specific uses and purposes. Each program on the channel, the channel that channels you in the direction. So you pick up the TV guide and it guides you to which channels there are and the channels then have the programs which enter into your passive brain. Beware the images that you are given. They imprint on your mind. They create a reality that does not exist. Films are not real. Hell, the news is barely even real now. Someone who you don't know reading something that they didn't write about some place that they've never been. How could that even possibly come close to reality? Not in my mind. Anyway. So, we are under constant attack, I suppose. The mind has no firewall. No way to block. No way to stop. No way to... No way to find a way. All the programs have directors to control the direction of the programming on the channels to guide us. It's simple really, isn't it? The monitor is monitoring who? Your personal computer, your PC, it's not personal. But then, 
The thinking people know that anyway, don't they? Can the mind be altered? It was a CIA program. CIA. An alphabet soup program in uh, the 1960s called MK, because MC would just be too easy, right? MK Mind Control Ultra. Run by a man, Scotsman. Up the Scots, huh? Hey, did you know that Scotland has Well, I want to talk about the history of invention and creation. The steam train, the tarmac, the television, the telephone. Everything right through to uh, genetic genetic coding. Up the Scots, eh? Lots of engineering stuff as well, all over the world. But um, what's the point? Oh, you and Cameron. Mad scientist, doctor, psychopath, actually. Um, was put in charge of... Uh, experimenting on people. Basically taking all the drugs you could find, pumping them into people and seeing if they altered if, if it altered people's minds. Of course it does. Yeah. Half a bottle of whiskey is enough to see that someone's mind can be uh, altered quite easily. Their perception can be influenced. Hmm. So yeah, I guess it's not that difficult. You just pump them full of drugs until they don't know who they are anymore, and then you give them a new identity. Surround them with people who tell them that they are this person who does this, and they take on that personality, and then they... Um, well, that's it, really. Um, so we are programmable. Which is... Which has a positive side, because then we can program ourselves to be who we want to be, to do what we want to do, to learn what we want to learn, to explore what we want to explore. Within, within the world where we exist. <laughs> Which is, uh, again, part of the yin and the yang, the positive and the negative, the pros and the cons what you gain and what you lose, the cost-benefit analysis in business of everything. More time spent here is less time spent there. Balance up the costs and benefits. Do you want to reprogram yourself? Neuro-linguistics, self-programming possible but I think you can only develop who you are you cannot become someone new there's a core which I think uh, some genetic scientists have explored there's a core of your personality which does not change it remains the same throughout your life whatever your experience is the, the aim is to grow, to flourish, to share, to help, and to fight against those who program us for nefarious purposes, who program us for the inevitability of conflict, for the inevitability of pain, for the inevitability of war, for the inevitability of suffering. The world doesn't have to be that way. All you have to do is lend a hand in an honest offer of friendship to anyone at any time.
beauty of the free market. You can work with who you want to work with. You can do business with who you want to do business with. You can buy the product that you want to buy. You can research and develop the product that you want to research and develop. Everything else is forced. And if it's forced, it's already failed. Sad, really. All those government-sponsored industries, which are just signs that people don't want to improve anything, or they don't have any ideas of their own. Oh, but what would we do if they Relax. We'll sort it out. Nothing to worry about. The future is whatever you want it to be. It's whatever you make it. However you imagine it. It is the path that you take. Defy the programs. Ignore the programs. Rise above and beyond the programs. Be conscious. Be awake. Be aware. And be in control of your own mind and your own thoughts and your own ideas beware of those other influences that's my thought time to go kiss the kids goodnight let me know what you think